My name is Holly and I work for the Euclid Public Library. Thanks for joining us online. I'm going to teach you some of the basics of Microsoft Publisher, which is a fun but underutilized design program that's part of the Microsoft Office suite. So if you have Word and Excel on your computer, you probably have Publisher too. Today we'll explore Publisher by creating a simple greeting card. So you'll need two images, JPEGs or PNG files, and you'll need to know what you want to say on your card. Before we begin, I'm going to touch on the differences between Word and Publisher. Word can handle images, but it's really made for text. It's sort of like a line sheet of notebook paper. If you're looking to combine text and image, Publisher is really the more ideal program. If Word is like a line sheet of notebook paper, then Publisher is sort of like a sketch pad or like a notebook filled with blank pages. So if you're looking to design a lost dog flyer, a sheet of business cards, a funeral program, or family tree, Publisher will probably be your most effective tool. Let's get started. This is what you'll see when you open Publisher. You can choose from a pre-designed template or you can just go with the blank page. You can search for templates in the search bar up top or click on one of the suggested categories. So here we'll click Cards to find some pre-designed greeting cards. As you see, for some reason, the first option under Cards is something called Modern Cookbook, and my guess is that it has to do with recipe cards, but most of these are greeting cards. So let's look to the far right to scroll down and see what else they have to offer in this category. So I've scrolled down and selected a Mother's Day card. Now if I like this design and I just want to personalize it a bit, I can click Create, and it'll let me do that. But I want to show you how to make a blank card, so we'll go back to the home page. Okay, so the first row shows our options for blank pages. The size and orientation can be changed later, but I know I want to start with a horizontal letter size sheet, so I'll choose that. Alright, so here's our document. Now I know I want to write something on the inside of the greeting card, so I'm going to add a second page to the document. And I'm going to do that by clicking Page in the upper left corner. And then I'm going to choose Insert Blank Page. And to the left, in the Pages pane, you can see that page 2 has been added. If you're familiar with Microsoft PowerPoint, you'll see that Publisher is sort of laid out like that. The pages are in a little column to the left, just like the slides in a standard PowerPoint deck. Now to make my greeting card, I'm going to be folding my letter size sheet of paper in half. So I'm going to create a guide for the center of my page. So click the far left side of the field and drag it to the right. Then you'll drop it in the center of the page right at the five and a half inch mark on the ruler. Click on page two and do the same thing so that you have a line to indicate where the inside crease will be. And let's halt for a second and save the document. There's no bigger bummer than doing a bunch of work on a document and not saving it and losing everything. So on the upper left corner, click Home, and this is what you'll see. In the left column, choose Save As. Select the place you want to save it on your computer and name the file, then click Save, and it should go back to the document. All right, now time for some fun. In the top left corner, click the Insert tab, and I think I want to start by adding an image first, so click Pictures right beneath, and now it wants to know which picture. So I navigate to the picture I want and double click it, and here's the picture. When you've just added a picture or when you've clicked on it, something at the top will open up called Picture Tools. And the first picture tool I'll use is Crop. You can see it on the far right there, so I'll click on that. And these little black bars will show up around the picture, and I'll drag them into where I want the picture to be cropped. And once I have the bars where I want them, I'll click the Crop button again, and that will clear away the excess. Now I want to resize the picture a bit, so I'm going to grab the top left corner and drag it toward the center. There are lots of ways to resize a picture in Publisher, and there are a lot of ways to do everything in Publisher, but I think these are the most intuitive ways. Now we're going to add text. In Publisher, you have to create a text box in order to add text. So click Draw Text Box. 
and you'll have this little plus sign. Click down and drag to make a box. You can always move and resize the shape of the box. So here's your text box. When you've just added a text box or when you've clicked on one, you'll open up even more tools at the top of the program. You can see up there text box tools. And this is the toolbox that contains your font selectors. So go ahead and pick a font. You can always change it later. And once you've picked it, you can type in the box. On to the inside of the card. In the left side panel, click page two. Once again, you'll use the insert tab to add a picture. I've added a close up of the deer from the first picture. As you can see, the face is quite silly. These pictures are from a thrift store group I'm in on Facebook. Again, I'm going to crop the image, but this time I don't want to crop it to a rectangle shape. I'm going to choose crop to shape, and I'm going to choose the rectangle with the rounded corners. So here I've cropped it and shrunk it down a bit. And now I've added a text box, just like on page one. And again, I choose my font, and I center a line, and here's my text. Let's see. I moved around these items a little bit, and now I think I'm going to make the background light blue. You can change the background colors by clicking on the page design tab in the top left quadrant of your screen. Under the page design tab, navigate over to the far right, where you'll click on background, and I'm going to choose that first blue color. It's beautiful. I'm going to press Control S to save. So this is a publisher file. With publisher, you can't just click print. You have to export it into a PDF or a JPEG in order to print it or post it on social media. To do that, you'll go to the top left corner and click file. And all of this will pop up. All you need to do is click export about halfway down on the left side in that column of green. This is what comes up. You'll click create PDF slash XPS. Choose the folder where you want to save it and name the file. And as you can see, it's already selected create PDF. As I mentioned, there are other options like sharing it as a JPEG, but that's an option for another day. Then click Publish, which is basically just like clicking Save. And here are pages 1 and 2 next to each other as a PDF document. When you print this, you can print it front and back. Then if you fold it in half, you'll have a standard size greeting card. Thanks for watching! Have a lovely day!